Well, after an unusually high number of vehicle thefts this past month, police in Walker believe it is now one of the communities across West Michigan impacted by the so-called Kia boys. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly spoke to a car owner whose vehicle was stolen over the weekend. She joins us live in the newsroom with that story. Marisa. Yep, Jamie, we've seen this in other communities like Grand Rapids. Walker police say it's received 10 reports of stolen Kias or Hyundai's since Saturday alone. Now they previously investigated investigated only one or two cases a month involving those brands. That victim I talked with says the group of teenagers behind these crimes need to think about others. Tyler McIntyre says he would be fine if he never drove his car again. I don't even want it anymore because it is a Kia and it's just as easy to steal it. It's again. a surprising so sentiment for a 21 year old with a fiance and a job, but he says that's how he feels after someone took his 2019 Kia Forte this past weekend. We have a lot going on right now. We're spending a lot of money on our wedding and now my car has gone and we got to deal with that as well. So. You know, it's just a mix of emotions. It happened Saturday afternoon along Alpine Avenue. Tyler says he and his fiance went to return a shirt at Target and well, only in the store for about 10 minutes. I knew right away that my car was probably stolen, but I didn't want to admit it to myself. They came back to another car in their spot. Walker police think Tyler fell victim to the Kia boys. Well, I think these kids think it's a game. It's very dangerous, um, you know, and, and we have to work hard to, to get this under control. Chief Keith Mankel explains it's a trend that started on TikTok, which involves groups of kids or young adults who steal Kias and Hyundais with standard key ignitions. They then often commit other crimes. The department says thieves stole or tried to do so nearly 20 times in July, a 150% increase from this time last year. And while his team continues to work alongside area agencies dealing with the same issue and increased patrols, Mankel asks parents and neighbors to pay attention to. If these kids are showing up or getting dropped off every day from a buddy in a different Kia, you know, that should show a red flag that, hey, what's going on here? Is this normal? As for Tyler, officers found his car the next day across the street. The window was smashed. It was thunderstorming that night, so the whole inside of my car got rained on too. But he says he needs to pay $1,000 before his insurance agrees to fix the damage, and it could take up to eight weeks for that work to be finished. They're not thinking about this stuff. I mean, they're young and then their mind's not very mature and mine's not yet either, but at the same time, you got to think about other people and their lives. And just overnight, heading into Thursday, police in Grand Rapids arrested three teenagers, including a 14 year old driver, after they allegedly led officers on a chase with a car reported stolen out of Walker. GRPD recovered two guns in that incident, too. Police stress that if you know anything, you should give them a call or silent observer to report an anonymous tip. I'm reporting in the newsroom, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.